Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. Today we are going to look at the addition of matrices. How we can add various matrices. So let's assume we are given a matrix A. And these are the members of the matrix. We have A, B, C. So this is matrix A. And we have a matrix B, which is also A, B, C, D, E, and F. We want to perform an operation, which is A plus B. We want to add these two matrices. What do we do? But first of all, to add matrix, let's obey this idea. Matrix can be added if they have if they have the same order or size. If they have the same size or order. If they are not having the same size, you cannot add them. So let's see. This matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix. This is also a 2 by 3 matrix. So they have the same size. Therefore, we can add matrix A to B or matrix B to A. Assuming we have a matrix, we will come back to this. So let's assume we have a matrix, say matrix A of this form 2, 4, 2, 1, and matrix B. Let's say a colon matrix, which is 2 and 3. The size of matrix A is 2 by 2, and matrix B is 2 by 1. These matrices do not have the same order, therefore, they cannot be added. They cannot be added. This is a 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 1. So, first pay attention to the order of the matrix before you can perform the addition. So from this A and B, they can be added because of the same size. So let's try to add matrix A. Let's call this A prime. Let's call this B prime. So that we don't confuse ourselves. So A plus B. In order to add matrices, you add the various terms at the various positions together. So what do I mean? This is A and that is A, B, C. This is D, E, F plus matrix B, which is also A, B, C, and this is D, E, F for the matrix. To perform the addition, you add the corresponding positions to themselves. So this A plus this, since they are of the same order, you are going to add the corresponding what? Positions. This B to the position B and this C to that C in order. So first, we are going to get an A plus the A. Then this B at the position plus its B, the same order, plus D and plus F. So this is how we add the matrices. So this can be further A plus A, that is 2A, that is 2B, and 2C, 2D, 2E, and 2F. So this is the solution for adding matrix A to matrix B. Are you okay? So let's also see this. If we are given a matrix C of the order say 2 1 and we have matrix d of the order 0 negative 1. first we must check if they have the same size or order this is a 2 by 1 matrix this is also 2 by 1 matrix since they have the same size they can be added so our c plus our d is going to be 
this is matrix C, and that is 2, 1, being added to matrix D, and that is 0, negative 1. And our final answer is going to be 2 plus 0, 2, and 1 plus negative 1. We have our 0. Are we okay? So the size of the matrix matters. Okay, so let's look at if the size is also a square matrix. So let's assume this is C, a matrix C of the order A, B, C, E, and we have, so this is matrix C. Let's have another matrix D, which is also of the same size. So this matrix we are going to have five. We have our alpha, our beta. Let's say gamma here, and our theta is also there. Mu. Then we have gamma and omega. Okay, so this is the matrix. This is to so check in the order. This is a three by three matrix. This is also a three by three matrix, meaning addition can be performed on this matrix. So in a situation where we have to add C plus D, which is equal to, now this is the matrix C, we have the matrix over there, being added to the matrix D. So once you know how to perform the addition having the same size, you are good to go. And this, the addition is going to be of the form. The A is going to add to its corresponding entity at the B or at the D. So we are going to have A corresponding to this plus that, this B plus that and in that order c plus beta the d is being added to so once you see that they have the same order then the addition becomes simple so this is the final answer for adding C to D. We will get to know that for addition, so for addition of matrices, we will get to know that some parameters are true. That addition of A plus B is equal to B plus A for matrix addition. This is true, meaning matrix addition is commutative. Commutative A plus B is equal to B plus A. Also, for matrix addition, if we have A plus B plus a C, it is the same as A plus a B plus C. With this matrix addition, is also associative. Are we good? And also, if we have a matrix A plus a certain O, which is a zero vector matrix, we remember zero matrices, so a zero matrix, say, let's look at this, a two by two, which is zero, 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 zero. So anytime we add a matrix to a zero matrix, we are going to get back the original matrix. Are we okay? And this also holds. When you add a matrix, say A, to the negative of that matrix, it is also the same as adding the negative of that matrix to the matrix. And with this, the two, the final answer is going to be zero. So you are going to get 
a zero matrix if you add a matrix to its negation or to its negative form are we good so let's assume we have a scalar let's a scalar k k be a scalar and if you have k let's add another scalar l which they are all real numbers so now that they have we have k l as a real number we are going to try and find some relationship between them and the matrix so if i add a matrix if i add matrix l this way and i multiply with a matrix this is also the same as having k by a plus l by a we will tackle multiplication of a matrix by a scalar and you understand how this operation works so pay attention to all this for addition of matrices the commutative aspect the associative aspect adding it to a zero matrix to get back the original matrix and adding a matrix to its negation to give you zero of that so let's solve some real questions on the addition of matrices so i have an example so let's assume we are giving we have we are giving a matrix given that matrix a we have this as one four seven two six one and we have three two four as a matrix given and we have matrix b also as six nine six as matrix b five six four we also have two two three as this matrix if we are to find or evaluate matrix a plus b which is the same as b plus a how do we go by it first we have to check for the size if they have the same size this is a three by three matrix and this is a three by three meaning we can add these two so first we are going to get for our solution matrix a plus b which is going to be the first matrix one four seven two six one three two four plus the second matrix b which is six nine six five six four and we have two two three and from our addition this is what we are going to get that will be one plus six here this four plus the corresponding position nine and seven plus its corresponding position six in that order two plus five six plus six one plus four three plus two two plus two and we have four plus three and with this our final answer for this matrix addition is going to be this is 7 this is 13 and this is also 13 we have 7 12 5 5 4 7 so matrix a plus b is going to give us this 3 by 3 matrix of this answer are we okay so this is how we perform the addition of matrices first pay attention to the order of the matrix let's look at the second example so we have matrix so example two let's 
evaluate matrix A plus B. If matrix A is giving us 2, 0, and we have negative 1, 5. And we have our matrix B also giving us 4, 1, negative 2, 6. So with this, we are going to say, very interesting to add matrices. So with this, our A plus B is going to be the first part, which is A, that's 2, 0, negative 1, 5 plus the second b which is 4 1 negative 2 6 and that is going to be equal to 0 or 2 corresponding to 4 2 plus 4 0 plus 1 this is negative 1 plus negative 2 5 plus 6 so the final answer for a plus b as matrix addition is going to be 6, this is going to be 1, this is going to be negative 3, and this is going to be 11. Then we are good to go. So let's look at this a different form. Example 3 evaluate C plus D. If C is going to be 2, 8, 1. And D is going to be 0, 0, 0. First, let's check the order. This is a 3 by 1. That's a column matrix. This is also a 3 by 1, which is also a column matrix. So we can perform the addition. So our C plus D, which is going to be 2, 8, 1 plus 0, 0, 0, that is going to be equal to, this is 2 plus 0, 8 plus 0, and 1 plus 0. Remember, this is going to give us back the original matrix. That's why we said a matrix A plus a 0 matrix is going to give us back the matrix. So this is a proof of that identity. Are we okay? So with this we can add any matrix of the same size or the same order. Thank you for watching this episode. See you. See you in the next episode.